Imagine not being able to distinguish between red and green traffic lights. Imagine not being able to tell the difference between ripe and unripe bananas. Imagine not knowing what colour car you drive. Well, this is the reality for approximately 2.7 million people around the world who suffer from colour vision deficiencies, more commonly known as colour blindness. Colour blindness is the inability to distinguish differences in hue. It can be genetically inherited or acquired. So, how does all this work? Well, first of all, take this eye. The back half of it is the retina. When light goes through the eye, it passes through the retina and reaches the photoreceptors. These are made up of rod cells, which are not used to view colour, and cone cells, which each perceive a different colour, blue, red or green light. We have 6 to 7 million cone cells and colour blindness is a deficiency of these. What types of colour blindness are there? Most of us have three full sets of correctly functioning cones, which is called trichromacy or normal vision. If some of one set of cones is missing or faulty, this is called anomalous trichromacy, and depending on the extent of your faulty cones, your vision will vary. There are three types of anomalous trichromacy. If you have some faulty or missing red cones, this is called protonomaly. Some faulty or missing green cones is called duranomaly. And some faulty or missing blue cones is called tritonomaly. However, if one whole set of cones is missing or faulty, it's called dichromacy. Once again, there are three types. Deuteranopia is the absence of green cones. People with a green deficiency cannot perceive green light. They see the world in shades of murky green, where blues and yellows stand out. Protonopia is the absence of red cones. People with a red deficiency can't see red light, and blues and yellows stand out to them. They see the world in a similar way to deuteranopes. Tritonopia is the absence of blue cones. People with a blue cone deficiency can't perceive blue light. They see the world in shades of red, turquoise and grey. Finally, a deficiency of two cones is called monochromacy. People with monochromacy cannot perceive any colours and they live in a grayscale world. Monochromacy is very rare and is thought to only affect 0.003% of the population or less. So, how is colour blindness caused? Genetically, colour blindness is passed down in our chromosomes. In most of our cells, each of us has 23 pairs of chromosomes, so 46 in total. The pair that determines your gender is made up of an X and Y for men and two X's for women, and red-green colour blindness is carried in the faulty X. If a woman only has one faulty X from her two, she will only be a carrier, as she relies on her other X. However, if she has a son and passes down the faulty X, he will be colour blind, as he only has one X to rely on. Blue colour blindness affects both genders equally, as it is carried in non-gender chromosomes, but is much less likely overall. Colour blindness can also be acquired, most often by age, but also by illnesses, diseases, accidents and medications. So now you know more about colour blindness.